For over a hundred years, scientific research has used in vitro models to validate results before proceeding to the in vivo stage of testing. However, in vitro research doesn't always translate well into the in vivo environment. Why is this the case? Looking at a section of human tissue, the complex three-dimensional structure and organization critical for cell growth and function is immediately apparent. Networks of capillaries deliver nutrients to cells, while efficient removal of waste products is achieved through the lymphatic system. Because of their inability to reproduce this environment, data generated using current in vitro cell culture models often show poor correlation with real tissues. By enabling accurate reproduction of the natural cell environment, Alvatech Scaffold adds a whole new dimension to in vitro cell culture research. With a growth in 3D cell culture publications, it's increasingly apparent that the behavior and functioning of cells grown in a genuine three-dimensional environment is much more representative of cells in the body. However, with so many different technologies and approaches coming to market, it's often difficult to decide which system is right for you. By using the cellular environment of real tissue to create a benchmark, we'll now assess the ability of these different approaches to accurately recreate the natural in vivo cell environment. Alvatech Scaffold is an in vitro technology that provides a solution for simple and routine three-dimensional cell growth, resulting in cultures that more accurately reproduce the organization, scale, and three-dimensional arrangement of live tissue. The stable, inert substrate has a depth of only 200 microns, enabling efficient diffusion throughout the membrane. Cells in Alvatech scaffold are no more than 100 microns from media, enabling access to nutrients and removal of waste products to occur naturally by passive diffusion. Whether comparing individual cell morphology, cellular organization, or the opportunity for cell-to-cell -cell interaction, the degree to which cells grown in Alvatech scaffold resemble their natural counterparts is most striking. We can score Alvatech scaffold on each of the following criteria. The ability to accurately recreate the in vivo-like scale and the in vivo-like organization. The ease of use, end user's experience when attempting to use the product and the consistency of the culture that occurs throughout the scaffold. Other technologies include lattice scaffolds, membrane scaffolds, electrospun fibers, hanging drop, and hydrogels. We'll now review each of these technologies in turn. Lattice scaffolds are comprised of a relatively large grid-like structure. The scale of the lattice results in cells either falling through the gaps in the structure or forming a two-dimensional monolayer of cells on the surface of the lattice members with only occasional pockets of 3D cell growth. Cell-to-cell -cell interactions are therefore greatly reduced. Other scaffold technologies on the market also have a problem of scale. Like Alvatex, membrane scaffolds are also based on a substrate. However, these membranes are considerably thicker the greater the depth the cells penetrate into the membrane, the further removed they are from the oxygen and nutrients in the media. This, together with the buildup of waste products unable to safely diffuse away, generates cell hypoxia and necrosis. However, hypoxia is not so much of an issue for cells in Alvatex given its high porosity and unique 200 micron thickness. Another form of scaffold is made from electrospun fibers. The drawback of this technology arises from the heterogeneous nature of the overlapping fibers. The variation in the size of the voids between fibers permits some 3D cell growth around the nodes where fibers overlap. But cells are unable to populate the larger voids, effecting a failure of organization. Hanging drop technologies also suffer from a failure of organization and lack of complexity. In this method, a small number of cells form a spheroid in a droplet of media. Cells on the outside of the spheroid have access to the nutrients and can safely diffuse waste. But cells in the center have limited access to nutrients and waste products accumulate. This may result in the formation of necrotic centers and cell hypoxia, particularly in large diameter cell aggregates. Hydrogels consist of a jelly-like medium. Gels of different thicknesses can easily be produced. An example of a 1,000 micron thick gel is shown. 
Inside the hydrogel, there will be a heterogeneous mix of many hundreds or more cell aggregates of varying size, as well as potentially suffering from the same issues as necrosis and hypoxia. In addition, each aggregate is trapped in the medium, therefore direct interaction between cell aggregates can be limited. Organizational failure may be the result. If we position each in vitro technology against the human tissue benchmarks of organization and scale, Alvatex Scaffold is the technology closest to reproducing the in vivo tissue environment. Alvatex Scaffold, enabling real 3D cell culture, simply and routinely.